First, team coverage of breaking news. Rhode Island's change of leadership is underway. As we broke at 6 o'clock, Gina Raimondo has formally resigned as governor of Rhode Island, and Dan McKee is expected to be sworn in as governor any minute now. We'll bring you that swearing in ceremony at the State House when it happens. The incoming governor had a busy day. He voted in the state's special election this morning, then got his first COVID-19 shot. We begin our team coverage with Brandon Truitt. He was the only TV reporter with Lieutenant Governor at all of his stops today. Brandon. Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee has been in public life for nearly 30 years. Tonight could be the biggest of his professional career, and you can tell he feels it too. We're feeling good. Yeah, feeling, feeling good. good. Brutal winds and bitterly cold temperatures not blowing away the significance of this day for Dan McKee. Yeah, looking forward to vote down here. Come back to my uh, my own uh, stomping grounds here where I spent 12 years as mayor and uh, looking forward to uh, helping the state out as governor. McKee starting his Tuesday in Cumberland, voting in Rhode Island's special election on a number of bond items he's hoping to put to use as governor. It's official. I'll try to do the best I can to help the state the way I did when I was a mayor of Cumberland. From there, it went virtual. McKee on his weekly Facebook Live for small businesses, this time from his car. I just I want to just uh, say thanks for everybody tuning in. And he was headed here to the Dunkin' Donut Center in Providence. McKee and his wife getting their first doses of vaccine. I just got my shot and I'm feeling great. McKee avoiding any major policy announcements or changes in distribution, but again, suggesting his administration might take a different approach. So for us to get back to work, get our students back in the schools, and get businesses back to businesses, uh, the vaccination is very, very important for us. We asked the lieutenant governor whether or not he had spoken with Governor Gina Raimondo today. He says he texted her this morning to wish her well and tell her to take in the moment. He says that she replied by asking him to do right by Rhode Islanders and said that she felt uh, that he had the confidence that he would. In Providence, Brandon Truett, 12 News.